Hey guys, what is up? The Neocubist here. Welcome to episode 106 of my Minecraft Survival Let's Play. So if you missed episode 105, please do go back and watch that. You'll get to see me build this blacksmith as well as go mining for a little bit of diamonds. Uh, but in this episode, I wanted to expand upon the village. I wanted to start getting some job blocks in so we can actually start getting some trades going. Um, as you can see, there is quite a bit of iron golems here. I'm not exactly sure why. Uh, people are telling me that it's because there's a bunch of mobs nearby and that causes them to spawn. And I believe you, um, because I don't know any other reason. So I'm going to look up in a list of... Oh, I thought one was about to run out. I'm going to look at a list. And we even got ones out here protecting the entrance, which is pretty cool. So I was going to look up on my phone a list of job blocks. I do know a few off the top of my head, so that's what we're going to do first. Uh, namely, we are going to... I can't remember. Did we put any iron? We can just smelt some real quick. Um, I'm trying to remember how to do this because I think this may take all of our iron anyways. Yeah, so I think we may have a little bit of iron actually in the village chest. So we'll go in here and look. Um, these chests are just kind of temporary. Um, they're just here because we've been adding on to the village. Uh, they're over here. And uh, okay, so there's a little bit of iron in here. I think that may be enough. I don't quite remember. I think it's either like this. Yeah, okay. So we can go ahead and put the anvil down. Now, I realize now that the villagers will not view this as a home because, well, there's no, uh, I, I don't know. They, they just will not view it as a home until I either close it off or, uh, but I, I don't want to close it off. That's the thing. So I think I'm going to keep smelting iron. Oh, okay. We have some iron in here. I was going to say, we're going to have to wait for the iron to smelt, but I think we're going to do something like this and uh, just plug the front of it with some um, stone brick like this. And I think we can actually make it look pretty neat. Uh, we just need to get an actual doorway in somewhere. Um, the door can be probably over like... Uh, the door is fine if it goes right here. It's not really a big deal at all. Uh, one thing you can do to make your doorways better is put an upside down stair above them. And it just adds a little bit more detail. Um, so what I was going to do, what I was trying to say before I interrupted myself, was I'm going to add a little bit of window in here. Uh, but it's not going to be your standard window, you see. It's going to be this. <laughs> so it's kind of like a window, but now they should view this as an actual home. Um, whereas without all this window work, they don't view it as a home. Uh, which is interesting, but I understand why, I guess. Because, yes, he's like, yes, this is my home. I am now a blacksmith. Um, so I don't know if it's the blast furnace that gives them the job or what it is. Uh, but either way, I'm going to put an anvil down somewhere. We'll just put it in here. It really doesn't matter. Uh, where the job block is because one villager will be assigned to it. So I wanted to make like a loom um, I think a smithing table. There's a bunch of different stuff, but we need to build more houses too So we'll get to that as well So it's gonna be an exciting weekend of episodes and I'm very happy you guys are watching me I really this series has been doing absolute wonders I'm not exactly sure why it's been getting so many views, but either way. Thank you guys so much for all the support I really do appreciate it guys. I really really do um, I'm just coming back in here for one second. I just need to organize my inventory and put some stuff up. There we go. That is much cleaner. Now we are going to go craft the job blocks because I want to have one of every sort of villager in there. I don't know if we'll have one house for every single villager. Obviously, that would take kind of forever, but we can do our absolute best. So I'm going to look up on my phone and I'm going to be right back. All right. So there's a bunch of things we're going to have to make. Uh, we're going to make the grindstone. We're going to make a stone cutter. Um, basically a bunch of stuff we can have more than one villager like job per like like we can have like three stone cutter villagers or whatever just depending on what uh, trades we want but I need to go in here because I got to get this material and then I think we might have some smooth stone still yeah we have a little bit just the perfect amount actually thank god okay so we're gonna use this and then I believe it was the stone cutter I'll do most of this off camera but we'll at least make the grindstone on camera so we need sticks and we need planks and it's a pretty simple recipe um, it just seems kind of difficult oh, it seems kind of difficult but it's really not so now we have a grindstone and obviously we can put this really wherever we can put it even on the outside of the uh, thing but I think it'd be more fitting you know if it was like in here somewhere uh, maybe like right there so now there's a grindstone in here which means there will be another job and then example I'm gonna do like a stone cutter next and I'm just gonna make all these job blocks and then we will place all of them down we may have to build a few more houses and whatnot uh, but see like I don't have enough to do that so I'm gonna have to smelt some more stone so uh, give me a bit I'm gonna craft a bunch of these blocks and then once I am done I will come back and we will show you uh, just we'll, we'll figure it out from there here is the smoker it's just a furnace surrounded by logs so now we have someone to cook food we might as well just make two more of them so we can have three smokers maybe not maybe we'll just do two for now because I don't know what their trades are 
Here we have the stone cutter, which is perfect. Here we have the smithing table, which I did not know even had a recipe, so cool. And here we have the cartography table, which I'm excited to be able to get a uh, map to one of the mansions. The woodland mansions, I'm very excited to go above ground eventually and go and find one of those, so that'll be helpful. And here we have the call. Oh, we don't have enough iron. Looks like we're going to have to run downstairs, but we have the cauldron, and then I think that's pretty much all I'm going to make for right now. Um, I can't make the brewing stand. We can make the loom, actually, but we're going to need a little bit more iron for this bad boy. I don't remember. Where was it? The bottom chest. So now we can make the cauldron. Perfect. And then we'll just look up real quick on camera. What is a loom? How do you make that? Loom. Okay, so just two string and two... Uh, that's not that bad at all. I think we have string up in here, so we'll do that. And then we're going to start placing a few of them. Now, of course, like I said, I need to build a few more homes. Um, not only to put more beds, but also just to um, be able to space these job blocks out a little bit better. I think we have string in here. We have one string. Oh, of course. We have, the, we have half the string we need. So, lucky for you guys, we have a spider spawner now, which you guys know about. And if you don't, go back and catch up, because there's a lot of cool stuff that you have missed. Uh, fall under there, under there minimize the amount we get hurt and then oh there's an iron column even here now which is it's just hilarious they've they've just they're everywhere in my base now which is awesome it's not a bad thing at all not a bad thing at all we're gonna go down here i don't know if oh, it looks like some spiders just fell onto the hoppers this was where all of our iron went okay we had to make just an unseemly amount of hoppers so we're just not going to talk about it there we go and now we can go back up and craft that Okay, just getting back into the base. We're going to also make a lectern. That's like the most important thing. I want to try to make a few lecterns too. So I brought like three pieces of that. So I think it was like this. And then it was just four pieces of wood. I'm pretty sure. So it's a very simple recipe. Uh, four planks. No, that was not it. That is it. There we go. Okay, let me get this stuff ready for a loom. Okay, so the lectern was a little bit more expensive than I was thinking of. It actually requires three book. It requires a bookcase. So we're going to need to actually come out of here. I know we've used this door like 80 times. It's also kind of satisfying to use, so that's why I keep doing it. Uh, oh, well, we should probably go down to the actual chest. Um, we need to run by here anyways. So absolutely perfect. I know we've just been doing a lot of crafting right now, uh, but I assure you very soon we'll actually do some fun stuff. Um, like building, which I think is the most fun. All right, so we're going to make some paper here. I don't know how much paper we need. We're just going to make a ridiculous amount of paper. Uh, that's probably too many books, I understand. But you know what? You only live once, and uh, you only get to craft books once. So we'll make seven bookshelves. And now the lectern was not a complicated recipe. Yes, yeah, so it was just a bunch of slabs. That's really all it is. Literally just some bookshelves and some slabs. Cool. So now we have seven lecterns. <laughs> so we're going to have seven librarians in our in our base. I wish we had a little bit of extra bookcases. And, uh, well, to be honest with you, we could have some extra bookcases. I just kind of want to make like a library sort of structure. Uh, I feel like that would be kind of cool. So we'll just go ahead and use up all of our extra here. Now, I know we have a ton of wood somewhere in here. I believe in here. Yes, we're good on that. All right, awesome. So this is going to turn out to be really exciting. We can actually have our own proper, I don't know what you'd call it, like a, a library sort of deal, something like that. And uh, I feel like a library is going to be like a tall tower that we can't make the tower too, too tall if we build it in here, but we can try our absolute hardest. So which chest is not as full of junk? This one. So we're going to put all of our job blocks into here just so that we do not misplace them. So we have the cauldron, the cartography table, the stone cutter, smoker. I don't know why there's a furnace in here, but we'll just throw that up. Uh, smithing table, loom, and then lectern. Am I missing anything? Um, barrels we already have down. Stone cutter, smithing table, smoker, grindstone, composter, lectern. Yeah, so we pretty much have everything aside from like some a few things like a brewing stand, which we really can't get uh, because we don't have it. Okay, there's no way for us to get that. Uh, those things are not stacking. We'll put them in here. We'll put them in here. Just We're just going to cram all this junk in here. There's even nine diamonds in here from when we went mining. We're just not going to talk about the fact that my inventory is in shambles. Okay, so we're obviously we're going to use some dark oak wood. We're going to take some bookshelves. And then we're probably going to need a little bit of oak planks to interlace that in. Um, and just some stacks of cobblestone. Maybe some smooth stone even. Because we have a ton of extra. We don't. You know, we're not going to ever use it anyways. Um, and then we'll take some logs too. Okay. 
So we don't have like a ton of room, uh, but we can build like a library right here just fine. I'm trying to think of how to do this structure, uh, and I think we're going to have to do it over here anyways, which is okay. Uh, so we're going to do this, and it's just going to be two blocks wide, so it's going to be kind of small. Um, and it's just going to be like a nice little tower type deal. Uh, but we're going to start the roof like up here. Um, it's going to be like pretty tall up. And uh, I don't think we have to do the same sort of roof style we were doing for everything else. We can sort of make our own roof style. Uh, so we'll do it like this. And then if I can get over to there. Uh, no, we can't. So that's okay. We could just build up with these just fine. Um, so we'll just do the same sort of thing. Do, do, do. And then we will, if I can get up there. Come on, guys. Uh, like this. And then we'll just do, 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 do. do. That's not right. We'll go one more in. There we go. So just something like a tower. I really don't know. Um, it really doesn't matter a whole ton. Oh, no. I was trying to get that one piece of smooth stone block, but I just... Where is it? Oh, did I get it? Oh, I, might, I might have gotten it, and I'm just a dummy. Um, but basically, yeah, I'm just going to do like a tower type of deal for the library, and we'll put a bunch of lecterns in there. Um, I think that looks pretty good. I don't like that it's touching, actually, so we're going to completely disassemble it and move it over one. Just taking apart the roof. So I'll just scoot it over one block. That's perfectly fine. Um, I realize now that this library is not going to be able to hold very much, like, at all. <laughs> or not this library. This village area is not going to be able to hold very much. So we may have to either make, like, another section of it, like, drill off an area over here or something. Because, I mean, it's already pretty crammed full. Um, there's got the blacksmith. We got, I don't know, I don't even know what you'd call this. It's pretty much just nothing. Um, so we'll have to space it a little bit further over, but that's okay. It's really not that big of a deal. I just don't want them to be touching. And we may make it a little bit shorter as well. I don't think it necessarily has to be as tall as I made it the first time. But it can't really hurt, I suppose. It can't really hurt. So we'll do the same sort of thing. Can I get over here now? Yes, I can. And then we'll just go up one more, over, and then up again. Okay, so that just looks like a... I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out as we go. But now, to fill in this area, we're going to use a little bit of dark oak wood. Um, just like that. And now the doorway, I think we're just going to do some double doors. So we're going to break these both, actually. And do we have any dark oak stairs? Maybe somewhere. No, we do not. So we're just going to craft a little bit of those. And we're just going to put some upside down stairs there. Now, I know we have doors. So I don't want to misplace those and have to create a little bit extra doors. There's no point. And we'll put the doors down here. we got to decide on some sort of floor material here. Um... I think we're just going to go with co the classic, the tried and the true, the cobblestone. Because, I mean, hey, there's pretty much cobblestone floors everywhere you look in Minecraft. And then, of course, this right here is just going to be dark oak wood, too. Okay, so I'm going to go in here and I'm just going to dig out like a, I don't know, it doesn't really matter. Just somewhat of a big room. Uh, maybe we'll go like one over to the side like this. It can just be four blocks high, too. I don't want to make it too, too big. So I'm just going to drill this pattern straight back and I will be right back in just a moment. Okay, now one thing I thought of just off the bat, this is kind of off topic, but I don't think villagers will view it as a home unless there is... Sorry, I just drank some, some Red Bull in my voice. I just like, I don't know, I was trying to burp, but I didn't want to be rude. Okay, we're going to put a bed somewhere in here because te sorry, technically you have to have a bed for it to be a villager home, apparently. So we're going to build our own uh, bed area in the blacksmith home because, you know, the blacksmith has to sleep. He's still a human being. He doesn't just run on... Uh, coal or something so we'll put a bed right there and then they'll they'll now view this as a home how did that get there you know we're just not going to question it we're just we're just not going to question it so this is pretty much uh this is pretty much what i've been doing just drilling this thing back and then i thought of the thing with the bed so um i'll just keep recording because i'm only going to go probably this many more blocks back and then of course we'll come in here and uh we will add all the wall materials i think we're just going to do I don't know. I want to do a floor material that's different than the rest, and I think I have an idea in my head that looks pretty cool. Uh, we'll see how it looks on paper, or I guess on block, on the Minecraft, I don't know. Let's get this iron, though. No point in not getting the iron, because we're very low on it. Okay, so as far as the floor goes, I'm just going to break out all of the floor blocks real quick. Okay. And then we're just going to do a pattern like this. And then we're going to interlace some... I love how I... Okay, so when I say like a fancy word, then I keep saying it repeatedly. I don't know why I keep saying the word interlace. Uh, but we are technically interlacing some some smooth... What is this stuff called? Smooth stone into the cobblestone. 
uh, to make a unique floor type. You know, this looks like something you'd see in a nice library. I was trying to go, you know, for like a very nice museum. You know, maybe a maybe a Smithsonian vibe going on in here. Who knows? Uh, but if we're going to do that, we should probably continue the pattern all the way out to here. Uh, well, maybe not all the way out to here, but all the way out to there. That's fine. No, I think it looks kind of weird when the door is closed. So we're just going to we're gonna ignore the pattern uh, as far as right here goes. Now it looks completely normal. Cool. One thing I was thinking of is we don't really have any path blocks. So we're going to try to do like a few paths in here. Um, the only problem being like, obviously there's no like, I don't know, set defined area where there needs to be path blocks. Um, and this whole thing would end up being path blocks eventually if I just kind of randomly did it. Uh, so we're just going to do path blocks like that. And uh, we'll make sure they're all connected. What are you guys doing here? Maybe they're ins inspecting the blacksmith. They're like, ooh, this looks nice. Um, maybe something like that. I don't know. Okay, anyways, back to the library. Why does this library look so weird? I feel like it looks really weird. The doors are like really far set back. I mean, I guess not. They're technically not that far set back, but they look kind of weird, but that's okay. All right, so we're going to do a little bit of a window here, I think. Uh, now, technically, you can't even see the window, so we're going to have to drill up a little bit, and we can just, you know, let in a little bit of natural light, even though there's literally no natural light. Uh, we'll just do a little bit of pretending here. And then we'll just have the ceiling kind of gradually slope downward, and then we can put our actual materials there. So, three three and then whatever the rest is okay let's see do we have any glass panes I don't want to use yes we have glass panes so we'll go ahead and plop those in there just have to make sure these wall materials are the correct material I know my inventory stressing me out too you're probably watching it and you're like oh my god dude please clear your inventory believe you me it stresses me out just as much so it's not like I'm just ignoring it it, it, it definitely bothers me too Okay, and now I'm going to go in here, and I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to replace all the walls with dark oak wood. We're going to, of course, do that. We're going to replace all the walls with dark oak wood, and the ceiling with dark oak wood, and I will be right back when I am done. Alright, let's just do the last little bit on camera, and we are complete. Okay, so you guys keep telling me, Neo, you need to start hanging lanterns with chains. And, uh, you know, to be honest with you, I hadn't really thought about using chains because they're such a new thing that I just, well, I haven't really used them ever. Uh, so we're going to do a, oh, just disabled my chest from opening. Uh, do I have any iron? I don't even know how to make chains. So let's go in here. We'll just search chain. Okay, so just, okay. I don't have any iron, though. So we'll have to wait for this to smelt. Mm, seems like a, oh, we have one right here. Okay. It seems like a pretty cool recipe. I mean, I've never done it personally, so... Uh, okay, so you just get one chain per iron ingot. Uh, they need to change that crafting recipe. That's a little whack. Look at that. One gives you one chain. Well, you know what? We'll use three chains, and then the rest we'll do with torches. Because those are extremely expensive. Um, you know, they look really nice, I'm sure. Uh, but it's kind of expensive to do it like that, don't you think? Uh, yes, we'll do a chain and a chain. And they, they perfectly line up with these. I mean, they look really good. Like, don't get me wrong. I love how those look. Uh, we're going to need one more. We're going to need one more chain, at least. So hopefully soon we'll be able to leave these villagers to their own accord. And we will just have them do whatever they want to do. Uh, because for right now, it's getting kind of annoying here. Every two seconds. Uh, but for right now, you know what? It's okay. It's just, it's just the way of the villagers. So we'll put two lanterns there. And then we'll just put a lantern and a lantern up here. So they're really cool. I love them. Thank you for the suggestion, guys. Um, and then we'll remove the torches, of course. So, like I said, we're just going to have a bunch of lecterns in here. The thing is, is that I, these villagers, for this to be viewed as like a home, there just has to be something like that in here. It's kind of weird, you know, that that's there, but at the same time, eh, whatever. Uh, now, how many bookshelves do we have? Because I'd like to have, you know, a little bit of bookshelves in here, but if... I want to make them look normal. We're going to have to set them around at least a little bit of oak wood, um, which won't really look weird once we actually get done with what I'm going to do here. We're going to break this and we're going to put some oak wood logs here. That'll kind of tie this whole wall together, I think, um, because, you know, I, I don't know. Yeah, that looks fine. That looks like a nice little bookshelf. And then we're just going to grab our lecterns, which are somewhere in here. Yeah, so lecterns, and we're just going to... Mm, I'm trying to think of how to do this. How many more bookshelves do we have? We have five bookshelves. Uh, so we can do, like, a bookshelf, and then a lectern. And then we can do, like, a bookshelf, 
and a lectern. And then we can do a bookshelf and a lectern. And now hopefully these guys will all have their jobs after we finish this. And then we'll keep doing the same sort of thing. So lectern, bookshelf. There we go. Yes, all of our librarians are lining up. They're like, yes, I want to be a librarian. Thank you for the offer. And then obviously these last two, I don't know where to put them. Hold on. We could put them just like right here and then put the bed. And or no, those beds are kind of inaccessible. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the invasion of the librarians. They're coming in here and they're coming fast. We'll build just our own little tiny. Um, okay, quit it. Quit it. We're going to build our own little tiny cubby for the uh, beds. Just a cute little tiny cubby will be perfect. Don't need anything fancier than that. And uh, yeah, we'll just dig this out a little bit. I always seem to do things sometimes a little bit to the extreme um, whenever I'm building, unfortunately. So I'm sorry it takes so long when I said I'm just going to build a tiny little cubby and then I, I just start building some massive structure. But this isn't massive, but sometimes I do get a little bit off track and I start just building insanely large things that really don't need to be built. Uh, but it's not a bad thing. It makes it exciting to watch, I'm sure, sometimes. Other times, maybe a little bit annoying. Um, so we'll add some of the other job blocks, of course. Now the floor in here, since we're going into a bedroom, I think we're going to want maybe a, maybe an oak log floor. How about that? We just have a ton of these oak logs, and we have an army of villagers. Are any of them mending? So the beautiful thing is we can place all... Okay, no. You have flame. No. No. You have no... These villagers, sharpness three, no, no, I mean for nine emeralds for a bookshelf is kind of a terrible trade. All of their trades are absolute garbage. I mean, you, you, you guys just saw those. Those are absolute garbage. So we're going to have to, we're going to have to redo those trades, but that's okay. We're not going to worry about that right now. That's not the main goal. And then each one of these guys will have their very own bed in here. Um, so we'll do it like that. A set bed in the back. I'm trying to think, do I have any other fancy things I can add here? No, not really. Um, not really at all. We have some stairs. We could do like a stair and a stair. Yeah, you know what? I'm sure they'll be happy with that. So only two librarians get beds. The rest of them do not have any beds. Cool. So now we have our own library. Not the best library by any means, but you know what she'll do? She'll do. Um, let me see if I can do something like this. And if I do, yes, I do have the capability. So I'm going to do that on all these bookshelves then. I think that'll actually look pretty awesome. Oh yeah, that's actually really cool. See, so I'm glad I, I spent time on this library because otherwise, you know, I could have just plopped these things down really quick and made like just, you know, a really easy to make library. But sometimes if you spend a little bit extra TLC on your builds, um, it'll make them all the more satisfying when you come back to see them. Um, or if you're recording for like 100,000 people to see <laughs> and you actually try a little bit. It's crazy to think like some of these videos have been getting, or most of the videos after episode 100 have been getting 100,000 views. It makes me slightly uncomfortable, if I'm honest with you guys, because that's like, well, that's more than I than I used to get after like, you know, seven, eight months of an episode being uploaded. So like, I don't know, it's just weird to think that that many people actually enjoy watching me play. Um, it makes me happy, but it's, but it's kind of terrifying at the same time. What are you guys doing? They always spam the doors. I don't think that's their intention, but they always seem to, uh, make that happen. Okay, so I'm just gonna wrap this all the way around just because I think it'll help lock in the bookshelves, you know, just, just there's a little bit of oak and a little bit of dark wood in here. Um, I think it's a good combo. Okay, cool. I actually think that looks really awesome. We're gonna do just a nice log right here. Yes, sir. And we're gonna do it over here as well. Perfect. Cool. Now, um, okay. That looks pretty awesome. I am a fan. I am a fan. Nice. Okay. So now that this is all done, that is all fine and dandy. Uh, I'm trying to think. No. Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay, cool. So this library actually looks pretty good. Let me know what you guys think of the library, if you like it, if you don't like it. Um, I am very curious to hear you guys' thoughts on everything. Um, are there not villagers sleeping in here? It looks seems like they really all like these beds, which is kind of terrifying because it's like, I don't know, it is just kind of terrifying. They don't use the beds that are in here. They're just like, is there an, is, is this one in use? So that one is in use. Um, it may have been after it turned night. Is this one in use? Okay, so <laughs> it's someone standing on his head. That's, that's uncomfortable. Okay, well, while it's night and there's nothing here, we are going to, first of all, put up some of these blocks. 
We're going to take all the job blocks and we are going to find appropriate locations for them. Uh, so the stone cutter, obviously, I think we can just throw that in the blacksmith somewhere. Like right there is perfectly fine. I know that's technically a different area, but you know, we have limited rooms in here, so we're going to have to make do with what we've got. Uh, we'll put the smithing table up here. We'll go ahead and do the same uh, sort of equivalency we did for the bed. Make a nice little, I don't know, a little cubby area. And we will put the smithing table back into here. Okay. And then uh, the cauldron can go in here too. That's the thing. Like all these job blocks will give them jobs regardless of where they actually are. Um, now in here we can put the fletching table down. Um, unfortunately, we're going to have to actually bring it down a block. So we can put the fletching table in the ground right there. Pretty cool. And then we can do a loom. I'm trying to think. Does this one even have any job blocks? It has an anvil. Okay. Now hold on here. <laughs> now hold on here. I appreciate... Why would the anvil not be in here? That's my question. We'll, we'll put the cauldron in there. Did I, get, did I get that thing back? What did I just break? The cauldron? Yeah. Okay. We're going to put the... That makes more sense. A smithing table and an anvil and a blacksmith makes a lot more sense than a cauldron. Um, so we're going to put the cauldron somewhere in here. We can just throw it down in the corner. That's perfectly fine. Maybe not. Maybe not. Hold on. We're going to do a little bit of extrapolation here. We're going to put it right here. That's not, that's, don't, don't use extrapolation in that way. That's not what that means. I think that means like inferring future results based on the data you have now. I think. Okay. We're going to put the loom in the cauldron down in here. We're going to change this a little bit because I feel like this just looks kind of weird. Uh, we'll put some logs down on it. There we go. Cool. And then last but certainly not least, we have some smokers. So maybe this guy wants to cook some food in his home. So we will just throw down two smokers in here. Uh, we'll put them up a little bit, actually. We're going to put them right there. So a smoker and a smoker. And that is all of the job blocks that I have so far. Cool. So this thing, this village is turning out quite nice. Um, I think so. Uh, this roof looks good. This roof looks good. They're not like the best roofs in the world, but you know what? They're doing just fine for what they are. Do I have any extra lanterns? That's the grand question. I don't believe I do, but I'd like some. So we're going to have to make a few more because I use a lot of lanterns. I really do. For some reason, that's like my most used, uh, you know, crafting recipe that isn't just like super easy to make because you've got to craft, you know, nuggets and then you got to use the nuggets to blah, blah, blah. Okay, mm, and we have a little bit of fence. That is perfect. So I'm trying to think about where to hang these lanterns. I think just like this will be fine. Um, they're on the same height, and that is also okay. Maybe we'll do... No, I think they're okay like that. All right, cool. So for now, we're just going to leave the village like this. I don't really think we need to add anything else in here, at least thus far. Um, we can always add little things here and there. I want to make it look kind of nice and like like an actual home or something at some point. But for right now, I think this is perfectly okay. Cool. I'm happy with it. Okay. So let's move this stuff out of here. Uh, Cause unfortunately I don't really, well, not unfortunately, but for some reason I decided to put a bunch of stuff in here that really had no business being in here, like these chests and whatnot. So we are going to do some life hacks here. And we're going to change a few things out. So first of all, I'm going to change all of this layer of stuff to stairs right here. And we're going to do something really cool. So, I don't see a lot of people do this. Um, I just, I've been playing Minecraft with some friends recently who don't play Minecraft a whole ton. And uh, even if you don't play the game a whole ton, you know, no hate on you, obviously. But there's a very easy way to add chests to an area that you wouldn't think has chests. So, let me, let me just use some of these logs, for example. So, we're going to make a bunch of chests. Uh, eight chests is not enough. Fifteen chests, that may be enough. So, we're going to put the chests right here, okay? Now you can stack them right next to each other, and since it has a stair above it, it can open. I know I'm telling you guys this, but a lot of you probably know. Uh, but for those of you who don't know, this will blow your mind. And now we're going to use... Sure, we'll just use these because this is probably the most prominent material. And then we're going to just frame the bottom of them with some trapdoors. And look, it looks like a very nice shelf. Let's sleep just to get all the villagers out of our hair. Um, but it looks like a nice shelf, so you can store all the materials up in there. You see what I mean? And there's all the, all the chests still open. So it's pretty cool. We can just store things in here. We can start to like, you know, put stuff in here we may not need. So let me do a little bit of chest sorting on my own because, ugh. yeah, I know. It's not it's not a very sorted chest. I think we're just going to do like wood materials 
The most satisfying way I've found to sort things is take like all the wood materials, which is always like a good bit. Anything that you know has wood in it. Um, so there's like a ton of stuff in here. You see what I mean? So usually all the wood materials, if you fit those into a chest, then you can fit like the stone type materials into another chest. Um, I always consider lanterns like wood. I don't know why. I guess because torches have wood in them and in my brain I associate the torches with the wood. I don't know. And then I usually just have like a stone chest, so just everything, that, like a stone material, like all this cobblestone. Uh, maybe this is somewhat satisfying to watch, I don't know. I don't really know um, all the time what's boring and what's not boring to watch, but... What are you guys doing? You guys having a meeting in here? And it looks like we're still getting babies made, uh, which is good, so they're just kind of multiplying themselves. I think they'll actually breed on their own because they have their own farm back in here. At least that's my understanding, so they'll just kind of infinitely expand until there's no beds. So I have to make more beds as needed. Um, there's a lot of beds in here, and we'll, we're obviously we're gonna keep the beds in here just because we need um, we don't need infinite villagers, but um, you know obviously there is a ceiling like when we run out of uh, beds. So again, we're just taking all the stone materials out. I did miss that wood, so we'll go ahead and throw that wood into here, and then all of these stones. And now we don't have to keep these materials in here. Like, you know, I don't really think we're going to need them a whole ton. But then everything else, we can just kind of break the chest and uh, get everything else out. There's not that much stuff. Oh, did they just pick up all that stuff? No, they didn't. Okay. I was about to be like, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. They can pick up that stuff? That's not good. Okay, so let me do a little bit of final sorting, and then I will come back and we will conclude the video. Okay, so that's pretty much it. So, the secret code for this episode, since I've always... Ugh, I keep forgetting the secret code. So, basically, what the secret code is, is uh, if you watch the entire video, you can prove it to me by actually entering the secret code. Because uh, not a lot of people actually watch the entire video, believe it or not. Only, like, 5% of viewers. So, if you want to feel special, because you really are special for watching all of this. You're part of, like, a 5% group of people who, uh, you know, it's just special, right? And it's good for me to know who watches how long just so I can see how viewer retention is. So the secret code for this episode is going to be 5437. So enter that down in the comments below to prove that you watched the whole video. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching. Uh, the link to my Discord server will be down in the comments so you can click and join there to get exclusive updates. Um, you also get notifications, like if YouTube is kind of bad about notifications for you, um, I will also send out a notification there so you don't miss any live streams. Um, but yes, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. I had a ton of fun making it. I'm glad our village is starting to feel more and more complete. Uh, next episode, I think we might do... Um I'm not sure, but we'll figure it out next episode, uh, which I'm going to record immediately after this one. I'm just kind of sorting my inventory. Uh, you can also follow me on Instagram. Uh, it's just my YouTube username. Uh, it's just on Instagram, so if you want to follow me there and get pictures of the cats or whatever, uh, feel free to do so. Um, I would be very happy to see you all around there, but thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye! And finally, I feel like I should do this again. The secret code 5437. Put that in the comments and you will receive a heart from me. Also, if you comment anything, I will read it and give you a heart. I try to read every single comment. Now, sometimes they won't all load because there's been so many recently. So I'm sorry if you enter a comment and you don't get a heart. But I heart probably about 90% of comments. I used to it was 100, but if, the app I use on my phone from YouTube like does not load after a certain number of comments. So like if I was asleep and I wake up and like I can't scroll all the way back. It's really weird. And either way, enter the secret code and I will be very appreciative. Thank you so, so much. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye again.